Planarian behavior. Animals exhibit a variety of behaviors, such as staring down their enemies or using sounds to attract a mate. You can learn a lot just by watching an animal. But can animals learn new behaviors? We're going to answer this in just a minute by performing a simple experiment. Before we get started, remember, never touch or taste anything in the lab. Handle glassware carefully and always wear your lab coat and safety goggles. And make sure you have your science journal handy to take notes and record results. First off, our materials list. A stopwatch, a syringe without the needle, a petri dish, and a small paintbrush. We're also going to need a planarian and some pond or spring water. Planarians are flatworms that live in ponds and streams. We're going to study the planarian because it shows innate behaviors. Behaviors it was born with. But it also is capable of learning new behaviors. So let's see if this animal can learn new behaviors. I'll take the paintbrush and put one planarian in the petri dish with the water. I'm going to let the planarian adapt to the dish for about five minutes. Okay, so now we can get started. Using the syringe, I'm gonna blow a puff of air on the planarian every 60 seconds for 10 minutes and observe how it reacts. I've set up this data table to record my findings. I've got the trials listed here and I'm gonna use the following letter codes for my observations. C is for contracts, T is for turns away, and N is for no response. Ready? Here we go. All right, we've been at this for 10 minutes and I've got some good data. Now it's time to clean up and wash my hands. From the data, we can see that the planarian contracted and turned away in the beginning, but towards the end, there wasn't a response. I wonder if it got used to the puff of air, knew that it wasn't in danger so it didn't react. Did it learn a new behavior? Maybe there's more to these little guys than meets the eye. Whoever said you were simple-minded, huh?